still coming out, not as badly as it was at first. I never like it when I see smoke come out of a car because I always assume it's something terribly, terribly wrong, but I know I did this. So, and I know it's just doing it because I'm cleaning it. So it is kind of, uh, you know, worrying per se. Um, I think what we got to do now is take her for a drive. And I wonder, I'm just wondering here, maybe I can get this to stay up in the dashboard. Maybe, just maybe. Nope, that didn't stay. Try not to break the windshield here. Come on, curved phone, work with me here. Smells like sea foam. Huh, I'm actually surprised that the camera stayed there. All right, well, it looks like it's time to close the hood and go for a drive. There's quite a bit of traffic right now. Um, there is a fair amount of smoke still, uh, you know, in the car, but I'll get that out hopefully. <clears throat> well, you guys will get to kind of see how I live in the middle of nowhere here. As long as that uh, camera stays up there, which I think it will, but I could be wrong. Been wrong before. There's uh, it's the old blue Jeep and the uh, old black Jeep. They don't run anymore, but we keep them around for parts for the red one. And we got the Aztec too, so there's really no point in having those other two Jeeps, but hell, why not? Anyway, we'll get going here in just a minute. Probably, probably gonna go to the car wash just because I think that's a good trip to get the uh, crap out of the engine completely. My camera falls. Doesn't, uh, it looks like it's burning oil, but it's not. It's just blue uh, sea foamy shit because that stuff is pretty oily. Um, but it is designed to uh, clean out your car. I actually had the idea to do this from uh, uh, Ray Husky um, because he did it to his dart and he only had like. 
40 or no, maybe 60,000 miles. I don't know. Fucking, I'm probably wrong. But yeah, so he did it to his car and this just rolled over 100,000 miles. So I figured I would take it, do the same kind of thing to it because the previous owner of it didn't know what the fuck he was doing. So I figured it'd just be good to clean all that bullshit out of there, especially since when I pulled that spark plug, it was just covered in white shit, and uh, that's no good, so I'm just going to drive here for a little while. Seems to be almost gone now, so I just stepped on it and nothing came out, so probably don't need to actually go to the car wash, because that'd be uh, pretty far away. I'm actually going to going to do what we call a Michigan U-turn, where there is no left-hand turns at um, intersections. You can't go left. Um, I'll show you at the traffic light up here. Uh, you can't go left, so what you got to do is you got to go through the intersection, hit the quote-unquote Michigan U-turn, um, and then you'll be going the other direction. Or um, you'll be going, like, you got to make a left, you got to turn around at these U-turn things, to make a right hand turn at the next light like you'll see what I mean like um, there's a light coming up here in a second you'll know what I'm talking about like there's a Michigan U-turn right there but it's not a good example um, there should be another one here soon There's a cop over there. I don't know if you can see him, but he is over there, just chilling. All right, so we're gonna. All right, so let's say you're at this intersection. You want to go left. Well, you can't go left at this intersection because there's no left-hand turn. So what you do is you go through the light, then you take your left-hand turn right here. Right, you follow me? And you turn. Try not to turn too fast so the camera doesn't fall because it's not mounted to anything, it's just kind of stuck to the dashboard. And then now if I was gonna go right now if I was gonna go left at that intersection, I'd actually have to turn right right now. If that makes any sense. You hit the U-turn to go right. Instead of taking left-hand turns, because I guess Michigan thinks left-hand turns are stupid. So we don't have those here, but I guess I have to drive like an asshole, according to the uh, instructions of the sea foam. And the camera fell down again. So we're gonna drive like an asshole. Here we go. All right, put you back up there. There you go. I'll get a proper dash cam at some point so I can do these videos properly and show you guys what it's like out here. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's uh, all the white shit's gone. It was really bad at first. It's gone now. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're just going to head back home. So, yeah, I live on this um, double highway kind of thing where it's tra two lanes of traffic going left, or uh, two lanes of traffic going westbound and two lanes of traffic going uh, eastbound um, because this road goes all the way across uh, Michigan. Uh, it changes names a few times, but it's still Chicago Drive. You can get all the way to Detroit just by staying on this road. I think that's pretty cool, but not everybody seems to think so. But we're hauling, going about 70. That's not the speed limit, but it's all right. I can't see that light coming up because it's too bright. Uh, it's green, so it looks like we're going. Oh, not turn yellow. Going through it. Made it. So bear with me. And 
smoke didn't fall. All right, cool. Wow, you can still see all the smoke up ahead from my car before. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, everyone. God, that looks terrible. It looks like I fucking blew something up. Like, it's all the way across the field now. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's very bad. It's alright, hopefully the neighbors don't want to fucking shoot me, but I'm sure they do. Oh well. I'll survive. It'll survive. Alright. It's kind of convenient too, because you'll see right here I live right across from one of these Michigan U-turns. So it's like, I don't have to, uh, you know, like, turn right again. I can just actually go straight across here. You'll see in one second here. Go. Going across, no traffic. And we got this shit brick of a driveway here. It's literally all dirt. Um, and my car is, you know, it's a Honda Accord, so it's not meant to do this. If you follow me, the Aztec takes this driveway far far better but you know I can only I'm the one that wanted a small car I should have probably have gotten something like a, a Jeep Compass Rally Edition or um, some sort of other small SUV like the Aztec pardon my garbage pile I'm a bit of a hoarder too just like uh, Keaton but yeah so holy shit 15 fucking minute video anyway this is Miles Hyena. I will catch you guys next time. I'm going in, inside to get some food. Laters!